guys well, welcome back to my channel again my name is Janice if you're new to my channel and I'm just about to show you how to make well I wanted pumpkin to make pumpkin flitters but I couldn't find any pumpkin anywhere so I um, have to settle for what's this called um the pumpkin family I forget the name of it uh, butternut squash so I had to settle for butternut squash but I would prefer, I normally make my pumpkin flitters with pumpkin. But today, sorry, I've got something by my lip. Today I will have to use butternut squash because I can't get a hold of pumpkin. Because pumpkin season is coming up soon. And people have been throwing away pumpkin a lot. And it's so much delicious things you can do with pumpkin. So I want to show you how to do a savory one. And a sweet pumpkin flitters, a savory pumpkin flitters, and a sweet pumpkin flitters. So stay tuned and watch me. I'm just about to show you my ingredients, my dear. So keep looking. <laughs> so this is all I need, guys. I need sugar. I'll put a little bit of pepper in the savory one. I've got some bodai pepper there. Or you can use that really hot pot, the really hot hot pepper as well. But I'm going to use this one because I don't want it too, too hot, my pumpkin flitters. I've got some sweet peppers. I'll put some sweet peppers in there as well. And I'll, oh yeah, I'll chop some onions in it as well. So I've got some cinnamon here. And I've got the butternut squash. But remember, don't think of it as butternut squash. Think of it as a pumpkin. But I know it's bucket butternut squash. But I'm going to use a butternut squash today because I can't get a hold of pumpkin. But pumpkin flitters taste better with pumpkin. But butternut squash, squash is the family. I can't even say it. And it does taste good as well, but not as good when I do it with the pumpkin. So remember, don't throw out your pumpkin and don't keep throwing out pumpkin because it's very good. For making other things and it's a delicious I can make delicious stuff because this um, pumpkin flitters well butternut squash flitters it gonna be when it should have been pumpkin you can serve it to the kids the sweet one and everything and they probably might like the savory one as well but you could give it to the, all of your family so it's really nice so I'm just gonna show you how I make it right so what I have to do first is boil my pumpkin. So remember, I've got some birds, I pep some finger pepper, but we call them bird, bird pepper back home in the Caribbean, but they are finger chilies. And these are black pepper, sugar, peppers, vinegar, and cinnamon, and a butternut squash. So I'm gonna do a savory one and also a sweet one so stay tuned and watch me hi guys i'm just about to peel my butternut squash but be careful remember you're using a knife so be careful with it what i do with my butternut squash because it's so big i cut it down first before i peel it i cut it in a little bit first I should use my chopping board really, but you know I'm crazy. <laughs> use your chopping board, don't do like me. So this is it. So I cut it in half because I find when I cut it down small it's easier to peel. So I'm just about to peel it and cook it. I really wish I had pumpkin. <laughs> but as I say butternut squash is still lovely. What I said is easy for me to thing it smaller and peel it but as I said be careful if you're not old enough be careful well even if you're old enough when you're using a knife just be careful because it's very sharp knife and be careful and the smaller you cut the, the butternut squash and then you said pumpkin is the easier it is for to um peel so I will just continue to peel my butternut squash and I'll come back to you. So I finished peeling my butternut squash and I've got a bowl full of it. So remember I'm going to do half in savory and half in sweets. 
So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to boil it in a pan. So excuse me, let me a pan one minute. Guys, I put the bowl of pumpkin in the water. The pumpkin is in there. Well, I keep saying pumpkin, butternut squash. And I'm just about to put... Oh, too much salt. I'm just about to put like maybe half a teaspoonful of salt to cook the butternut squash with, so that's enough. Sorry, I make a mess of the salt there. So, I'm just going to... For my savory, I have about a quarter of sweet pepper. I have half of chopped onion, red onion here, but if you use any onion. And I've got some that finger chili. But be careful not to touch your face or your eyes when you're using this chili because it's hot. So I chop up about 10 chili. You can use less. You don't have to use the same amount as I do. Less of everything or more if you like things really hot. So I chop up 10 finger chili. And I have a sweet pepper quarter and I have half of an onion so this is what I'm going to use in the savory one the savory flitters okay stay tuned so I have a bag of flour here so I'm going to use two cups full of flour in my in both of my um flitters so I'll show you because I forget to tell you I need flour. I'll show you all the rest, but the main ingredients I left out is the flour. I'll show you the butternut squat were meant to be pumpkin, but I didn't show you the flour. So you need flour as well. Whether it's self-raising flour or plain flour. So the butternut squash been cooking now for I think about 12 minutes. It's soft anyway. So you can see how it is now. It's soft. So I'm just about to strain it off. So I'm gonna strain it off. So I'm gonna use half for the savory one and half for the and half for the sweet. So I'm just about to thin them up now. Look how soft it is now. It's cooked really soft. So remember, about 12 minutes cook, make sure it's really soft. So I'm gonna add half in the bowl and half in this and then I'm just going to make the savory one and the sweet one so I'll show you now what I'm about to do so what I'm going to do for me to measure it so you know how much is in there I'm going to put half of it in this in this um, cup so half of it some seeds still in this so I'll have to pick them out so a cup full of That's cup full of it, and then I'll put the other cup full, the other cup full in this one. So they say about a cup full each of um, butternut squash. It would be pumpkin, but remember, it's butternut squash I'm doing, not pumpkin. So I would say a cup full each in in um. In the thing ready for me so I'm gonna put this in here this cup full in here and I'm gonna need water to mix it with so for the savory one I'm just about to pour the pepper and the onions in here so I'm gonna jump through it, put that in there my hand is clean I'm wearing gloves so I'm just about to put that in there and we got the savory one so I'm going to deal with the savory one first. So what I need to add to that now is water and flour. So I've got the flour here. I would say about a cup full of flour. I use the same um, thing because I'm using the same. So I would say about one cup full of flour. Make sure the flour is less than the is less than the butternut squash because you want to taste the butternut squash to it and then you add then you add a little pinch of salt just a pinch of salt like about 
quarter teaspoonful of salt and then I'm gonna go and get some water and pour it in there. I will see how much water in there. One minute, let me get some water. So I have about how many ounces of water? Let me make sure, one minute, one minute. Sorry. So I have about just over nine ounces of water here. So I'm going to add my water to the flour. I'm going to add some of it and I'll tell you how much I use because I've got nine ounces in there. And I'm going to use my hand. If you want, you could use the same spoon I was using to ting it. You can use this to do it as well. I like mine more flowery. You can do it less flowery and do more pumpkin and less flowery. So I think I put how many flour? A cup of flour in there. So I'm going to add another half a cup of flour. So say about another half a cup of flour. I'll put it in here. This is about half a cup of flour, I should think. So I will say about another half a cup of flour in there so that will be it that's all I need and this will make it you could use your hand to make it or you could still do it with a spoon it doesn't really matter sometimes I get in there with my hand and do it but I'll tell you what I really miss the pumpkin because it's pumpkin flitter that I want to do I'll be keep saying that for the rest of the day oh I risk the pumpkin I wanted the pumpkin but if you want it more flowery, add more flour. If you want more of the pumpkin, add pumpkin. But I like mine quite flowery. I think I'm going to add more flour, you know. Because I will say another, I will say two cups of flour because I don't like mine thick. I like mine more flowery than the pumpkin. -y. So I will say by in all, two cups of flour. So two cups of flour, my dearies two cups of flour and then just mix it in mix it in you can use your hand or you could just use the wooden spoon you don't have to use your hand but I'm just leaving mine like this and just mix the flour up in it just make sure the flour mix in so remember this is more of a savory one and then I'm going to put a dash of black pepper in there just to make it give it a more savory kind of taste and then I'm going to fry it in some vegetable oil. And voila, that's it. So this is the savory one I'm doing first. So stay tuned and watch. So I'm just about to put, in my, put on my oil to fry it up. Now I've finished the mixture for the savory one. I'm going to put that aside and start doing the mixture for the sweet. So I'm going to put that over there, leave that out the way because that's have to go to fry. And I'm going to start mixing the sweet one now. So in the sweet one, let's say this is a cup full of pumpkin there again. So in the sweet mixture for the pumpkin flitters or butternut flitters, I will put, I know I have a tablespoon here, but say about a quarter of a teaspoonful of salt. And I will put about four tablespoonful of sugar one two four ones three four tablespoonful of sugar that's it because pumpkin as I say butter not as not as sweet as pumpkin but it's still sweet so say four and a half tablespoonful of sugar in there and then I will put like a dash of cinnamon cinnamon powder not too much just a dash and then we got the vanilla extract i would say about a teaspoonful of vanilla extract about a teaspoonful then i will add the flour towards it. So I'm going to add but uh, I think I will just do the measurement about 
two cups again full of flour, two cups full of flour, add it in there, put water in there, and that's how you do it, just like how I mix the other one. So put about, I would say, how much water did I use? I would say I use about mm, maybe a hundred ml of water in there or less. 50 ml maybe of water. So 50 ml of water and then just keep putting the flour. Put the flour now. More flour because I need two, two things full of flour. Two, um, two cup full of flour. Oh, I'm getting flour everywhere. Messy. The kitchen is going to be in one big mess by the time I finish here. So I will say, I should do this in a bowl, but I don't know where all my bowls have gone. <laughs> my son, he used my stuff and then I can't find him. So, um, he kind of have it up in his bedroom somewhere, I don't know. So you just keep mixing it and make it come in as thick as the other one. But I'm going to make this one a little bit more flowery, so I'm going to put more flour in this one. I would say about two cup and a half of flour I'm going to put in the sweet one. So this is enough flour now, so this is thick enough for me because I want it more flowery, this one. So this is the sweet one as I said. So remember to put the stuff in I give you, the ingredients I give you. And you can put a little bit of nutmeg in it if you want as well. But I'm not going to put no nutmeg in this. Today I've just cinnamon. And as I say, you could put baking powder in there. If it's not self-raising flour, you can put baking powder. But I'm just using just normal flour really. So this will do. So this mixture is finished now as well. This mixture is done. So I'm just about to wait for fry them now, so just stay tuned. Leave it to number three on the electric cooker, number three. Yeah, leave them on number three. So that they don't burn. Let them fry for a couple of minutes on each side. You see how lovely they're looking already? And then I'm gonna put another one in for fry. So you just take them out with a wooden spoon and then just drop them in the oil. And as I say, I've got about 215 ml of oil in there. So just keep turning them and they don't take long to cook. I would say give them about less than 10 minutes on each side, maybe 4 minutes on each side. And cook them low. So I'm going to do the savory ones first. And then I'm just going to do the sweet one after. They taste delicious. So stay tuned. So remember guys, never to throw away your pumpkin. See such beautiful idea because I done a savory um, flitters with butternut, but it should have been pumpkin, but as I said, I couldn't find no pumpkin, but it's the same family. And look at them. Look at how lovely and delicious these look. These are the butternut squash flitters and this is a savory one i'm still frying them and it's easy to do all i was doing is taking some about this much on a spoon and drop it in the oil and remember it's 250 mils of oil in there because i want the oil to be uh enough so you can fry it Fry the flitters and I will open one show you this is what they look like let me open one show you look how beautiful they are look in that how nice it is it's all cooked it's not raw and it's delicious even with the savory one because I'm so used I'm so used to making the sweet one but even with the savory one they're so delicious look at it how beautiful it is inside and it's like it's like a sawfish I'll do sawfish flitters as well next time it's similar to sawfish flitters but it's very oh mm. nice so hi I am on the sweet one the sweet flitters 
sweet flitters now. So I've got one more left to do and then I'm done. So on the sweet flitters, I just drop them in the pan. Make sure they come off and drop them in there and they just cook. You don't even need to put your hand to kneel them, they just, you just mix it basically and put it in the pan. So that's it, that's my last sweet flitters because I'm doing a sweet one now. So this is the sweet one, the way it look, and I will open one for you. You know something, when you're doing the savory one, it's really, really peppery. So if you want to, if you don't like too much pepper, use a lighter pepper, like not so spicy. So you don't have to feel, because it has got a kick to it, the savory one. And this is the sweet one, so I'm just about to try the sweet one. This is in inside of it. It's all hot and nice, so just about to try the sweet one. So I'm going to try some of the sweet one. Here I am. I'm going to try some of the sweet one. So hi guys. I am doing, this is a sweet one now. So the sweet one is tasting delicious as well. So I'll show you how they look like. Let me show you. Hi guys, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below or subscribe or leave a thumbs up. And thank you and God bless and see you soon. Keep safe.